With the 88th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Nick Foles, quarterback, Arizona. Eagles quarterback Nick Foles became the seventh player in NFL history to throw seven touchdown passes in one game. He did it completing 20 of 28 passes for 406 yards. And of all the men who have thrown for seven touchdown passes, the most recent Peyton Manning in week one, Nick Foles became the first to generate a perfect passer rating of 158.3. Wow. A major Eagles move, the talk of the town tonight. Your quarterback, Nick Foles, traded. Howard Eskin here with what it all means, Howard. Oh, uh, there was an explosion in town this <laughs> afternoon. All right. What it all means, I guess we'll find out in September when they open the season. But Nick Foles, yes, has been traded. He was with the Eagles for three seasons. The Eagles traded Foles to St. Louis, got a quarterback back in return, but gave up more than just Foles. The Eagles gave up picks as well. And the Howard, look forward to it. We'll see you then. Meantime, Nick Foles taking to Twitter tonight, thanking the city of brotherly love, tweeting, quote, thankful for the opportunity to start my career in Philly. Going to miss my teammates and Eagles fans who supported me. Classy guy. So what do Eagles fans think about the trade? Well, we sent our Sabina Korea coast to find out. She continues our team coverage live outside the link in South Philly. So whether it's on social media or in your ears, Sabina, they're sounding off. Well, Lucy, people have tons of opinions about this, as you just saw there. Twitter is exploding. The fans are divided. But the one thing that they all have in common, they're in total shock. I liked Nick Foles and nothing against him. Ali Van Norden is a lifelong, diehard, bleed green kind of gal. As she grabs a table at McFadden's, the link looming large across the way, Ali says she's been unimpressed by quarterback Nick Foles. So when news broke that the birds are trading Foles to the Rams, I'm not opposed to it. On social media, total shock with mixed reaction to the swap. Tweets filled with words like, crazy, dumb, why in God's green earth? To me, things are going wrong. Out and about, fans are just a split. Listen with a couple. A really good move for the Eagles. Chip Kelly, I'm not sure what he's doing. The only thing everyone seems to agree on. We're not necessarily winning with the team that we have now. Allie says, time's up. I don't think he proved himself 100% yet. I mean, he was great while I was here, but we didn't win, so why not try something new? Others say, Where's the love? You no, know, it's not really loyalty in the league like it used to be, you know. Um, with all due respect, I mean, man got injured a couple games, you got to give him a chance. You can be bet that debate is still raging on. If you want to sound off, head to our Facebook page, Fox 29. We want to hear from you, Lucy. starting quarterback for the next 1,000 years. <laughs> That was Chip Kelly in 2013 talking about Nick Foles as his starting, starting quarterback. Now, Chip owes us 998 years of his starting for the Eagles. Now, if you missed the loud boom in Philadelphia, it was Eagles head coach Chip Kelly trading his starting quarterback to the St. Louis Rams. And I know fans think this would be a forerunner to getting Marcus Mariota. I don't see that happening now. It seems Bird fans are backing Chip Kelly one full season. Well, most, I should say. He may be good. They said he's got, he thinks outside the box, but I think he should have kept them. So you're not standing behind him? No, no. I didn't really like him anyway. The Los Angeles Rams are moving on from Nick Foles. Our NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reporting the Rams will release Nick Foles, or has been released today, and this was a move that we have seen coming for some time as Jeff Fisher kind of alluded to it. Yeah. News, we're going to welcome in Mike Garofolo. Mike, we have to talk about this deal. They reunite. It's Andy Reid. It's Nick Foles. He drafted him way back when. How did this go down? Because Nick Foles was looking at not only his short-term options, and good morning football guys, by the way, <laughs> so not only looking at his short-term options, but his long-term options. Uh, what's old is new again. Nick Foles is back in the nest. The Eagles signed the quarterback to a two-year deal. Back in 2013, he made the Pro Bowl after tossing 27 touchdowns and two picks. I still cannot believe that season. It was ridiculous. The move makes you wonder what's up with Chase Daniel, the backup as we speak right now. Sorry Welcome to see home, him Nick. Go. Welcome home, Nick. Thanks, Don. Mm -hmm. So the Eagles, Chase Daniels won it out, and today he got his wishes. The Eagles released Daniel, who said he wanted a chance to compete for a starting spot somewhere 
else. And that came right after the Eagles agreed to a two-year, $11 million deal with Nick Foles. Foles played with the Eagles for three years, but really flamed out post Chip Kelly. Now he's replacing Daniels as the backup QB for Carson Wentz. And I thought you said Nick Foles was a quarterback for the Eagles. Again. Yes, Nick Foles is back. That's not That's a mistake, not a mistake That's okay? Bad. Yes. No worries. He's a backup, okay? okay. <laughs> no worries. Well, tonight at 11 o'clock, celebration and heartbreak. The Eagles clinched the division, but there was a price to pay. Quarterback Carson Wentz is out, possibly with a torn ACL. He was seen wearing a brace around his leg as he boarded the bus tonight. It's certainly not a sight any of us wanted to see. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you for joining us. So what does Carson Wentz's injury mean for the rest of the bird season? The early report is that Wentz has a torn ACL, which would end his season. Nick Foles finished the game. Here's now reaction from the birds. I'm absolutely ready. Um, I mean, that's why I'm here. So I'm ready to go um, prepare every day, uh, work every day. So I'm ready to go. Need be. I played with Nick, uh, I mean, for years uh, when he was here, and uh, he left and then he came back. I know what he's all about. I know if he, if he has to go, if he has to uh, step up, he will. Nick Foles is also a Pro Bowl quarterback. And with that defense, I think the Eagles can still make a run. I think they're going to make a run. I think we'll, we'll be okay. I mean, uh, I'm a little nervous now, but, you know, yeah, I, uh, listen, we got to have faith. It's simple as that. We're still going to do it. I have Old faith. Team Nick Foles. I have faith. Foles, 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 Foles not a bad quarterback either. He's going to pull us through. We need home field. We need that bye. And we're going to be good throughout the playoffs, I believe. Good evening. I'm Sarah Bloomquist along with Walter Perez. The big story on Action News tonight is a win by the Eagles with Nick Foles at the helm. It was surely a nail biter of a game, but in the end, they beat the Giants 34 to 29. Bottom line, today's win clinches a first round playoff bye. Jeff Skaberski joins us now with highlights. Say, hey, Jeff. Hey guys, Eagles fans admit you were panicking when Carson Wentz went down this time last week. Well, who knew he wasn't out there today? Wentz's replacement, Nick Foles, coming up big against the Giants. Four touchdowns, no turnovers. The Eagles keep on. Everybody was concerned about Nick Foles. He Man. steps right in, and he looks like he Carson Wentz. He played really, there. really well, no doubt. That is the sound of relief from Eagles fans inside Pitcher's Pub in Maniunk today after those grueling last seconds in the Eagles win over the Giants. Die hard fans going into this game were eager, some anxious to see Nick Foles step into Carson Wentz's role. He just needs to kind of get back into the rhythm and I mean, no matter what, we can't fix Carson's knee. So yeah. Nick's going to play and we just can, all we can do is hope that he plays, that he still plays well. Go ahead, Nick Foles. I think we're going to uh, go pretty far into the playoffs. I was pessimistic before tonight, but he showed, he did a really good showing tonight. I'm feeling pretty good just because we have a well-rounded team. So I know with a well-rounded team, defense, uh, special teams and everything else, but the coaching and all the other players, one player is not going to make a difference. So Nicky Foles, I am disappointed in Wentz, love Wentz to death, but Foles is going to take us to the where we want to go. Or Walter, there's, there's winning. There's winning ugly, and then there's what we saw tonight. The Eagles defeat the Oakland Raiders 19-10 to improve the 13-2 on the year. They do get that number one seed. They will have home yes. field advantage throughout the postseason. Except it didn't look so pretty, did not, it? Not, not for most of this game. No. It, uh, I'm glad they won, but boy, the fans didn't like the way the team looked, did mm -hmm. it? No, and, really. uh, no, it took the wind out of their <laughs> sails, too. Our, our Jeff Cherico is out at the link with the fans tonight. Jeff, you tweeted in the third quarter that folks were leaving and didn't look too happy, didn't you? Yeah, they were, and they were telling me that they weren't very happy about what they were seeing on the field. Just not playing as good as they need to play. I mean, Nick played great last week, and I don't know what it is about this week, but he's just not, not they're just not doing it this week. It's not what I hope for. Um, I think the Eagles are a great team. I believe they can win the Super Bowl, but not the way we play tonight. Carson, we trust. What about Nick Foles? We, we trust Nick Foles, but they're looking sloppy tonight. We got to get it together for next we week and Foles. get our act together for the playoffs. To they got two more chances if with the Vikings lose and if the uh, then they got the chance with Dallas and everything like that. So they're going to be fine. We'll get it together. A little discouraged, I guess, but I I feel like once he gets playoff times, Nick Foles and the offense will step it up. You know, we'll find it. Time now to talk sports. Jeff Skaverski is here. All eyes were on the Eagles as they were finishing up this uh, last game. We knew the starters wouldn't play long, but the outcome? <laughs> mm, not so much. Yeah. Now, everyone's worried, except for Nick Foles and the Eagles. They say they are confident they will be fine come the playoffs because they know what they are capable of. 
Do you believe right now at 11, the Eagles win the Battle of the Birds, and they're now just one win away from the Super Bowl? You wrong again. I guess you ain't never played football. The Eagles can't do what? The underdogs come out on top, and despite all the injuries and doubt, the Birds are marching on. The reviews are in on QB Nick Foles. We have to have all the hope in Foles. We have to have all the hope. Foles are incredible. I didn't doubt I didn't him for a second. Maybe 20 degrees out, but it didn't stop the dance party. I am 21 years old, and I have never been this excited in my entire life. Way to go, Eagles. Way to go, Birds. Keep it going. Who's next? Who is next? I was wondering, you said that was the loudest you'd ever heard of the link, especially yeah. on the pick six. You played more than a couple of games here. Was that the loudest? Absolutely. Um, and this place gets loud. And I, I said it during the press conference this week, like, the fans were amazing. I mean, that is so hard when you're the opposing offense and you're trying to get your checks, you're trying to communicate, you're trying to say the play in the huddle, you're trying to do all these things. Like, that is a huge advantage. And it's shown throughout these last several years here in Philadelphia, the loudness of the fans and the passion of the fans. And that's why this thing is also so special, because we got to celebrate this victory in the link in Philadelphia and just have everyone going crazy. And uh, I know everyone's going to enjoy themselves tonight. Please be safe, but have fun. Thanks, guys. That is NFC champion quarterback Nick Foles. You'd think he won the spelling bee. It's I mean, great. he's the most relaxed, calm person. And, and you consider what he did, the magnitude of what he did, how beautifully he played. He's just talking like it's uh, a walk in the park. Yeah, I mean, that was something we've been working on, and Doug and I were talking. It's like, let's just run it. Uh, it was a good time. And uh, the end was a little wider than I thought, so I was like, I really need to sell like I'm not doing anything. And uh, it worked. Trey made an amazing throw right on the money. I just looked it in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, we've, we've repped it for a while, so I was excited to get it uh, run and in the Super Bowl. No, I'm excited. I mean, quarterback going out on a route. I was pumped to go over there and talk to Doug, and, you know, we agreed on it. And, uh, you know, like I said, we worked on it for a long time, and we executed it perfectly. That's probably the best it's looked, so we hit it at the right time.